RF man here. Today I want to demonstrate my dual LD MOS 3000 watt PEP amplifier using an ICOM IC735. I'd like to give a quick shout out to my friend Greg for lending me his ham radio. I promised him I would take good care of it. What I'd like to do today is demonstrate the linearity of my amplifier from 160 meters to 10 meters. That's the limitation of this radio. Um, so it can go as high as 10 meters, around 28 megahertz. This is a broadband amplifier. It will operate from 1.8 megahertz all the way to 50 megahertz, which would be the 6 meter band. But uh, the radio is capable of going up to around 28 megahertz or 10 meter band. So my setup, I've got a 6 dB attenuator so I don't overdrive the amplifier. During the demonstration we'll be monitoring the input power, we'll be monitoring the supply current, and of course we'll be monitoring the output power on my bird meter. This is my line section here. As you can see, I'm using a 2500 watt slug. And I've got the same switching power supplies that I've had in my other videos. And I'm using a 1500 watt dummy load. And we're on the 2500 watt scale, so it'll be the top scale there. Now what I've done for this demonstration is I set the dead key to 1000 watts. Of course, the dead key can go much higher. But what I want to do is demonstrate the linearity of the power supply. I've had several of my customers ask me how well does the power supply perform from 160 all the way up and we're going to go ahead and demonstrate that. We'll leave the input power the same so the dead key should remain around a thousand watts and that'll demonstrate how consistent the output power is from one band to the next. Okay so that's that's the intent of this video. Okay, so here I am at the 160 meter band, about 2 megahertz. We'll go ahead and key up and I'm going to be showing basically the RMS or average power and not the peak power. Again, to demonstrate the linearity of the power supply and show that it can operate over the wide frequency range. So here you can see my dead key is about a thousand watts. That's the two meter band. Now we'll go up to the, that's the 160 meter band, I'm sorry. Now we'll go up to the 80 meter band. That would be around four megahertz. You can see we're at a thousand watts. Now we'll go up to the 40 meter band. That's around 7 megahertz. We'll key up again. You see, we're over 1,000 watts. And we'll just keep working our way up. We'll go to the 30 meter band. That would be about 10. You can see we're at 1,000 plus watts there. Okay, now we'll go to the 20 meter band, which is around 14. Again, 1,000 watts. Okay, just keep working our way up the band. I'm going to go to the 18 meter band. That's around 18 megahertz. We're at 1,000 watts. Okay, you can just keep taking this all the way up. Uh, we'll, we'll go to, let's say, the 15 meter band here. Okay. And we'll demonstrate over 1,000 watts there. Okay, then we'll go up to the 12 meter band. which is about 25 megahertz. See, 
over a thousand watts and finally the 10 meter band you know, 28 megahertz and you got a thousand watts or so so again the purpose of this demonstration was not to show the maximum power output but to just pick a dead key of a thousand watts test it from 160 meters all the way to 10 meters and see how well the amplifier performs and as you can see uh, with the same input power um, it's very linear um, during the test we were drawing between 35 and and 40 amps um, and again we can see the power output over the full band. So that's the demonstration. The RF man. Thank you.